heard stories about the city lines and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's break back, paycheck. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that I need. Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here today with uh, hopefully some multiplayer. We've been setting things up here a bit today. I'm going to be uh, trying a couple of new things out here. We'll see how it goes. It's always uh, something crazy uh, when I try to do new things. So maybe this is just going to be another failure, but we'll see how it goes. I did set up a second camera today so you can see here we're gonna be able to take a look at uh, the joysticks and kind of play around with a little bit of that at different points here um, we'll see how well that works out it's uh, a test in progress here so we'll be uh, getting going and doing a little bit of that tonight I will apologize in advance my voice is a little bit rough today uh, unfortunately I seem to have gotten sick yet again, but uh, I didn't want to cancel another live stream, especially after we bumped it here after last time. So we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of logging tonight um, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, if you've downloaded the 1.4 patch, you'll know it's uh, pretty broken if you're playing on PC with any amount of mods right now. And so rather than try to deal with that and recover our saves and our servers, I rolled back one of our multiplayer servers to 1.31 and uh, reverted my own install. And uh, we're just going to play on that tonight. And then hopefully tomorrow morning with the hotfix, we'll be able to get into 1.4. So that's kind of the thought process here. <laughs> um, and so I haven't actually played 1.4 yet because all of my saves were broken as a result of the update. So my thoughts of it are, are uh, a little bit low at the moment, I'll say. So um, 
Welcome to the stream, everyone. I see we've got quite a few people jumping in here already. Legendary, welcome. Living, welcome. It's good to see you guys. Brian Rutherford, good to see you, man. Uh, it's been a crazy day, actually. I was just at a uh, soccer practice for my uh, five-year-old, and it was uh, raining for the last half of the practice. So I'm actually a little wet right now. I uh, We got back pretty late. We stopped and grabbed a quick bite of food, and now I'm uh, soaking wet here. But uh, we're drying off here. And uh, we're going to get started. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to pop open the game here. And we're going to be playing tonight on one of our multiplayer servers. Uh, we do run three community multiplayer servers uh, that have been getting quite a bit of use uh, of late. And we've got uh, here the 16x Huron map. And it looks like rolling back my game has caused some of my uh, settings to get reset. So I'm just going to double check here to see why my joysticks are causing the view to move. I don't see anything on this control. Uh, nope, I don't see anything here. So for some reason, my map is moving when I'm on here, and usually that's a... a, a because the joystick is doing something funny. So I don't know what's going on with that. Regardless, we're going to be doing a little bit of logging tonight. And you guys aren't even seeing my screen when I'm talking about all this stuff. So let's jump over here. And uh, it'll be a little less rambling and a little more showing off the game here. Godly Devil, good to see you, man. Oh, welcome to the chat. We've got Strandon Canson in here as well. And so as I mentioned, this is the multiplayer server. And uh, we're running a bit of a staff farm on this multiplayer server. I don't always get a chance to play regularly on our multiplayer servers. And so if we look here, you can see that uh, the green spot up here, I don't know why the map is doing this, but uh, we've got our own little farm here. I think we've got uh, uh, a number of other members here. Toby Neal's got a farm on here, Austin Farms, Eminem Farms, and Robert's Farm here. So. We'll probably see a few members jump on during the stream here and do some stuff. But we are into November now on the server. And uh, being in November, there's not a whole lot left of field work, at least on our farm. And so I thought it would be awesome to try and jump in and do a little bit of forestry here. My goodness, it sounds like my uh, vehicle volumes are a little bit loud here. So I'm going to dial those down just a touch, I think if I can find them. Um, where, I'm like missing them here, I know. Input controls, camera, radio. There they are. Uh, vehicle volume and master, we're gonna go down a couple ticks and see how that treats us. So, good times. Altoona Gaming, good to see you, man. Tech for the disabled, good to see you. So we're going to get rid of some of this stuff. We're going to we're running auto drive and course play on the multiplayer server here, which has been interesting um, just to kind of get us to um, see how those work in multiplayer. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to pop over to my other window for just a second and change a setting here on my monitors because it's uh, looking a little bit weird for me. Here we go. That looks a little bit better. And uh, I never got a chance to play with this Rotten Eat DLC on FS19, even though I had purchased it. And so I thought it'd be fun to give this thing a shot, do a little bit of logging tonight, and uh, just kind of chill out because it's been uh, it's been a crazy uh, couple of days with the patch break and everything. And I thought, why not do something a little bit different here? So. Um, I've mapped some of the controls, but not all of the controls. So we're going to have to probably figure some things out here. Now, one thing I've noticed with multiplayer and uh, this logging equipment is it likes to jump around a lot the very first time I use it. And so I've got to kind of use each of the booms uh, once to kind of get it to recognize where it's at on multiplayer and sync everything up. So we should be good to go here. And I do have SK and uh, Living on a Player here, both uh, from the staff team that are going to be helping me out tonight. Um, I am in voice chat with them, but I don't have that coming through to the stream right now, I don't think. So 
Um, I'm muted in voice chat at the moment, but uh, we may jump in there and hang out with those guys at some point during the stream here as well. I uh, do have to warn you, and I mean, if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you'll know I don't really do that much logging. So um, this is probably going to be pretty hilarious. It's probably going to be pretty painful because I'm not really used to driving with a joystick. I have set things up to drive with the joystick, so I've got the um, complete power and steering and all that here wired up. And I've got all of the logging controls set up. And uh, no, I am not uh, using quote-unquote realistic logging settings right now um, because I wasn't really sure how to set all of those things up. Um, I've never actually gotten a chance to sit in a logging machine. So I've done a little bit of uh, like backhoe work and stuff like that, but uh, we're just going to kind of wing it tonight and see how it goes. Uh, we do have a crash counter. I'm going to need some help determining what uh, counts as a crash tonight. Uh, because we may be uh, knocking into all kinds of things with some of these logs. So uh, let's see if we can uh, get started here. I'm really looking forward to trying this out. So we've got on our farm a number of tree areas here. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to look at this. With the map being so large, it actually gets to be kind of difficult to find things. But I think this is a large tree area. And then I think we've got another large tree area over uh, between these fields. So the chances of me actually uh, getting through all of these trees are very slim tonight, I think. And we do have a number of different camera controls here that we can use. Uh, I'm tempted to set that up real quick. I think tonight we're going to also be setting up a few buttons here and there. Uh, because I don't want to uh, be struggling too much. So I'm trying to find the camera button. Um, toggle, vehicle, camera, zoom in and out. That's not useful. I would have thought it would have been in that generic section. Oh, there it is. Select camera. Uh, I think we're going to do this for camera. And let's see how this goes. So I want to be able to move through these cameras to be able to uh, pick up these trees. So uh, for my joysticks, these are the Thrustmaster T16,000s, I believe. Um, they sell them as a pack of two um, for like space simulator games uh, primarily. And um, I have the desire to at some point soon uh, start playing some Star Citizen again. I uh, backed to that game very, very early on, and I've never gotten a chance to um, really play it. And so that's that's kind of the rationale behind all of this. So um, now I've got to do a few things. I've got to figure out what the controls are here to get things unfolded. Still, um, we definitely need to turn things on, and then I need a cut key. I'm going to pre-select my log length to always be 8 meters so I don't have to come back in here. And then I just need to select cutting, uh, and I think we're good to go. So let me find that. Oh, goodness, so many controls now, which is good and bad. I like the new uh, um, configuration here. Cut was X. I'm trying to find what it's called. It's not front loader. Where is X, X, X? Is tool function two. So if I come over to the gamepad side of things, of course it's not scrolled to the same spot. Uh, I'm just looking for tool function two. Boom. Boom. Save controls. Maybe they'll be here next time because I did that. All right. <clears throat> Let's give it a try. FTR has a mod for machine controls. Um, yeah, I, I saw that video actually. I was checking that out and I wanted to download it, but it looked like it did quite a bit um, that I wasn't quite ready for. And so I'm gonna try and, uh, we're gonna try and not jump around too much here, but this first tree I wanna kinda figure out what we're doing. All right, so we can tip down here. I set up a button for this. Perfect. 
and we've got to figure out where we're going to make a pile for this stuff. So I don't think typically we drive around a whole lot with this. I'm still learning the controls that I set up. We don't seem to have a ton of hydraulic power to lift this huge tree up. So I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot with it. But uh, we'll... Oh, goodness. I think my controls are the opposite of what I wanted them to be. Sorry. There we go. All right. So that's forwards and backs. This is up and down. All right. That's all right. We'll get used to it. So we're going to just hopefully get used to this. We're just going to cut this right here for now since uh, I should have probably moved a bit before we started cutting. And I'm going to just keep dropping trees, hopefully in this same pile. And uh, SK and Livin are in charge of uh, hopefully picking up all these trees for me here. And uh, yes, the hotfix is supposed to be very early tomorrow morning. Uh, 5 a.m. Eastern time is what Giants has said. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember my uh, controls here still. Up, down. Okay. Here we go. We might have to fix that shortly because it's it's backwards from what I expected it to be. And then we grab a tree. And it's going to crash on our cab. Oh, goodness. This would be probably when we call up the crash counter. So we have completely destroyed our machine at this point. Oh, it's so everything is so hard. My brain does not work with uh, all of these axes. Which way is up? Here's this boom. It's like we've got one too many boom arms here. I may change some controls here shortly if we uh, don't get better at this. Oh, we've made a mess. SK is angry. I'm trying to uh, pull this tree like a little bit straighter so it lines up with my pile, but I don't think it's going to happen. We're going to cut this and uh, see if we can just knock SK out of the way. <laughs> it's almost in the pile. This is going to be a uh, wonderful experience here. We'll see if I get any better at it as uh, the stream goes on. So that's two trees so let's see we're gonna flip our controls because I think uh, my brain is just wired to think of this kind of like a uh, front loader control which is probably not the right way to think about it but uh, it is what it is so the raise and lower crane arm is actually not so much raise and lowering We're going to just invert these controls and see what happens. Up, down, in, out. All right. I think we've got it. Um, in a little bit. There we go. And out a little bit. Grab it. Lift it. Drop it. All right, so we're getting better. We've dropped a tree. I really hope there's no uh, actual loggers in the uh, audience here because uh, you're probably going to be cringing a lot this episode. Now, these things are really heavy. I don't have enough weight to actually lift this up, it appears. So I'm trying to kind of drag this back to me. I don't know how I would get this into the pile without uh, just dragging it over here. I guess we're going to just do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I'd really like to be able to figure out how to better stack these. Here we go. My pile's coming up here. I should probably have turned my camera controls to the other joystick as well so I don't have to keep reaching for the mouse that's all right 
And here we go. We got it in the pile, at least. Oh, we've crashed into that other log. I'll lift it up a little bit so that they fall out the bottom. We've got Livin over here in his uh, hard hat and chainsaw. There we go. Oh, this is awesome. All right, we've got some controls. Let's see if we can go in cab here. I'm not sure how far this thing will go. Let's see if we can get this tree over here. Oh, let's see it. That's down. Can I just push this boom out? There we go. Look at that. And I'm kind of expecting this to grab this tree at some point. I must be just a smidge too far away. Um, let's see. Can I extend it this way? I'm just a little bit too far away. I'm going to try and move up here and then grab it from this side maybe there we got it oh goodness we've we've completely felled this tree on the uh, rest of the crew this is terrible the point of logging is efficiency just drop them where I can I think we're going that way because uh, we're trying to take people out <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to lift this up. Because this thing uh, just rips through these trees really fast. So maybe we'll just keep dropping them and uh, we'll, we'll make the uh, loader do the work of uh, tracking down where I'm leaving these trees. I feel like when I've seen professional loggers doing stuff that they're stacking all these trees on top of each other. But uh, we just don't have that skill set yet. Maybe we'll get there. We'll do a few more trees and see if we can just get to a point where I can use the controls without fumbling here. I think we're probably still too far away. Now, I've got these numbers here. I'm trying to figure out what uh, that 589 indicates. Maybe that's how far away um, from the body I am with the boom here. We're a little too close because it's all hung up on stuff here. There we go. And if I rotate it, I wanted to rotate that quicker so that it dropped the right way. We're going to just be stacking these every which way. I guess I can use the trees to push the other ones out of the way. <clears throat> 589 is the size of the tree trunk. Six meters, then the loader just loads them on the truck. I thought you got more money that based on the length of uh, um, the logs here. So I'll be curious to see what our first load kind of brings in from a dollar's perspective. I'm going to just keep finding my way in here. I think we're getting hung up on some stumps, so I'll have to watch where I'm driving. And, uh, Toby, yeah, we're probably gonna need an ambulance at some point in this episode. I'm not a big fan of this camera because I get disoriented easily, but it lets me see where the, uh, arm is here, so I think if I get it right there... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, Rotated the wrong way. Boom. That should work. Because then it's right alongside me. I don't have to worry about it. So The loader or skitter should be able to pick up a whole pile of four logs to the main pile or the loading pad. Yeah, that would be ideal. Um, in We, did, we tested a little bit. And uh, especially in multiplayer using the um, skid loader to pick up logs t is proving to be a little bit difficult, so. 
This thing is not handle my stumps very well either. I'm uh, getting hung up. I'm probably leaving a couple of sizable stumps here though. We've got so much underbrush here, you're going to lose a whole tree's worth of logs in the uh, forest. So, let's see, let's see. Alright, we're going to get better at this. We'll also uh, switch out. We're getting a little bit of lag there. We'll switch out at some point here and uh, try some of the other jobs as well. There we go. Uh, we got to find a tree first. Oh my goodness. You'd think this would get easier, but uh, I've literally not done this in 22, and I think I've ran the log machine like once in uh, uh, FS19. I did not do a whole lot of it, so this will help see where I'm at. And oh no, it's going to come through the windshield like that. Why is the arm not going up? Oh, I'm pushing it the wrong way. See, it would help greatly if I could uh, sort out my controls. Because I think that uh, my brain keeps trying to pull the lever back instead of pushing it out to the side. Oh, here we go. Skidder is different than a skid loader, yeah. The, and the, I think that's some of the struggle is, uh, is just with multiplayer in general when you're uh, doing some of the more physics-based things like loading bales and, and moving logs, um, things get to be a little bit interesting sometimes. All right, let's try this. We've got it. We pull it off to the side, let it fall down. Chop this guy right up. So awesome. Do the numbers ever mean anything when the model comes from giants? Yeah, I know. They're, they're doing something, though. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely seeing the number change when I do certain things. I think it's indicating the length of the tree that was left there because it kept getting shorter as I cut it. But uh, now I have no tree, and it says 136. So maybe that's the length of the last cut in uh, centimeters or something? I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. We're just dragging this thing all over the ground. All right, let's see here. We're gonna, we're gonna get this going and extend this out. We're not quite there. Let's see. And so that number is definitely changing as I get closer to the tree here. I don't know what that uh, right-hand number means. I think the left-hand number is definitely indicating the desired cut length. Five seventy. Yeah, I have no idea. Late to the stream, but that's because you were working. Good to see you, Permas. Looks like you've linked something that uh, YouTube chopped in half here. So I'm guessing because it says Case IH, that it means that we've probably got that uh, Case Precision disc coming soon to uh, Perma's itch.io page there. Oh, we are crashing into everything. I don't even have enough hands left to uh, run a crash counter at this point. If I ran a crash counter for every time I crashed the uh, cutting head here into something, then uh, we'd probably never get through the stream. Nope, I'm definitely hitting the tree. I'm trying to figure out at what point um, the cutting head is going to grab onto that tree there. I'm not sure what it's called, but... Uh, we're getting there. Yeah, that tree's definitely through the windshield. <clears throat> so I'm curious how many uh, people we've got 
in the uh, stream that are familiar with uh, logging in real life because I guarantee watching me do this is uh, not even close. We're gonna, I don't know, we're gonna grab this tree over here. Let's just drive around in here. See what kind of trouble we can cause. I prefer an external camera, but uh, we seem to be having some trouble with that. Let's see, push this guy out. I think if I just use uh, gentler motions, we'll be good, better off here. No, it's not grabbing this tree. Let's see, why are you not grabbing the tree? Because I'm not very well lined up, that's why. We're gonna get ourselves boxed in here behind these uh, tree trunks. I'm just creating piles everywhere. Now, I don't see, oh, there's SK with uh, something to load. It looks like we bought a uh, new class uh, front loader, I guess that is, a small front loader. I suppose I should uh, alt tab here for one second. I lost my audio with these guys and I just need to dial this up a little bit so that I can at least hear what chaos is going on behind the scenes. First loads of logs is off. <laughs> so I've got you guys now on audio, so. Ah, good times. All right, so we've cut down on quite a few trees at this point. And uh, yeah, Permas, I agree that uh, uh, FarmSim22 seems to be lacking medium-sized drills. I'm gonna, that doesn't really help. We'll go this view here. We're uh, trying to find the best camera angles to do some of this stuff still. Oh, adjust, adjust. We can move this boom out a little bit too, which seems to be handy. Timber. We're uh, too extended right now. I'm trying to find a good balance to hold these trees up that's not too high up in the air. I'm not used to this uh, pivoting point on the cutting saw, like has no control or no strength whatsoever, so. We'll try and uh, go back to in cab seems to be my best luck. Um, I don't wanna grab this tree right in front of me first. I wanna keep some space over here to the side, I think. Um, who was doing the toolbars for anhydrous? I don't know who was doing the toolbars. I know Forward Ag released their um, anhydrous and liquid fertilizer tanks, I think. Um, but I don't remember who was doing a toolbar. Why are we not grabbing this tree? Probably because I'm too close. There we are. Nope, still too close. Maybe I'm too high. That's it, we're too high. And timber. I'm glad the uh, truck isn't parked over there anymore. We'd be uh, making all kinds of a mess. With the log grapple, should be able to pick up whole piles and load on a truck. Yeah, that's, I think we uh, just leased a front loader with the big log grapple on it here. So I'm wondering if they'll be able to start pushing these into a pile and picking them up three, four at a time at least. I know single player, it seems to be a little bit easier to do. 
Um, but multiplayer, it's uh, there's a little bit of server lag from time to time that makes it uh, difficult to do some of these things. Oh, I wanted to go the other way, but I uh, pulled it onto this side, and once it falls down, it's too late. We're on this side with the tree. Cooper, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. I checked to make sure there's no owls living in them trees, right? Oh, exactly. We got our uh, permits all squared away here. We're uh, stuck up on something here. There we go. Every once in a while, this thing just doesn't want to go forward, and it's usually if I get the tire right on a stump before I attempt to cut down the tree. So I'm going to spin around here, and we're going to grab this tree here. We're getting this whole corner cleaned out pretty good here. Um, let's see here. Perfect. And if I rotate that way, oh, we messed it up again. I was hoping to push this out while it was falling, but uh, we're still not quite mastering the controls here. Yes. So we got a lot of logs here now at this point. I'm kind of curious to hop out here and see what kind of chaos we can cause with a uh, front loader. I'm not sure where the semi went. We've got... Uh, you want me to take the big one? We're going to try and uh, push some of these logs into a pile to make it a little bit easier to pick up while we wait for the semi. Now, I've got steering on here. Do I have... I don't have front loader controls. Let me grab front loader controls real quick. Uh, front loader for gamepad. And we're going to... Gosh, I wish I knew which was which here. Um, I guess we'll just do this. So raise and lower, and then let's see what that does. Nope, that's the bucket not the arms so I want this one raise and lower uh, raise and lower there I got that I got that perfect so let's yeah let's get something to do the open close um, we're currently doing up and down for the crane arm. We'll do that. So we're going to open with this and close with this. Let's see how this works, folks. We're learning everything here about logging. Perfect. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try and go after this uh, larger stack over here real quick. Now, it's kind of weird driving with a joystick. Maybe I'll try an in-cab view. See, the problem with an in-cab view is I can't actually see where uh, my forks are. I think that's just going to be a recipe for uh, me doing horrible things. So we're going to go to an external view so I can kind of see what's going on. There's so much underbrush here, it's really hard. <clears throat> now, the problem with these is kind of getting them scooped up good. So we get, just kind of push them here a bit, rotate this in. We've got a decent amount of logs. Let's see, do we have a semi back here yet? Oh, we're losing logs. Is that as far up as I can go? It seems like the bottom uh, 
the bottom forks are kind of small on this thing. I would have expected a uh, little bit more. I don't see the uh, semi here. Maybe we'll just uh, try and make a better pile here. That's what we'll do. We've got a little bit of a uh, hill here. I think maybe if I just dump them here, we'll be able to push them against the hill when the semi gets back and pick them up a little bit easier. And then uh, we'll just keep we'll just keep running logs over here into a big pile because I think the semi is gonna be a minute to get back because this is a 16x map. Oh yeah, come into chat and instantly see people talking about ours. Nice. What's the crash counter? The crash counter is at one, and that's because I haven't been counting crashing into myself or trees with just the uh tool itself if i crash into a tree with the vehicle i feel like that's probably crash counter worthy here but uh right now we're just trying to pick everything up the camera controls are uh, a little bit tricky here in the woods and let's uh keep pushing here. I want to just kind of get these pushed up into a pile if I can. We're making a total mess out of these logs. Yeah, I think he's got a trailer. If you want to, uh... Yeah, if you want to grant Toby, uh, contractor rights there, SK, that'd be great. That is not closing my bucket. Oh, no. We've made a mess. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's try this again. We're going to back up. We've got too many hand controls. I'm not used to thinking in this many axes. And I want to play Space Sims. Ha, ha, ha. That's going to be hilarious. All right, let's see here. We're going to try and push in here, get a nice big scoop. And uh, I got one whole log. Look at that. Two whole logs. We're definitely doing it wrong. We're definitely doing it wrong. This is why I don't log, folks, because uh, two logs at a time, it'll take us a month to uh, pick up all these logs. Whoa, oh my goodness! <clears throat> We've uh, definitely gone off the deep end here. The goal is to just dump these off and uh, not crash over the edge. There we go. Oh, there's a skid loader. I'm guessing we're getting a stump grinder here. Just blame it on FS Physics. I would love to, but let's be honest. My driving is uh, about as bad as it comes, and so the fact that we're doing anything more complicated than uh, going forward left and right is uh, a recipe for disaster, folks. Now, we do have a little bit of a pile going here, so I'm wondering if uh, I can back up here. It doesn't help that I'm hitting my microphone uh, boom when I'm trying to steer. I can't turn left. All right. Let's see if I can uh, hopefully get this bigger pile here now. Oh, there's a log there I didn't see. Oh, yes. I think SK wants me to run him over. I need uh, a differential lock on this uh, front loader, apparently. There we go. That looks like a nice big number of logs. Let's see if I can pick these up. Nope, we're going to drop most of them. Unfortunate. Oh no. I'm going to run. Oh, we're running over logs. We're going to tip over at this rate. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 
I thought he was going forward. We're just crashing into everybody. Yeah, we're definitely not making money yet on uh, our logging experiment here. We've got so many, uh, so many different uh, things that we've had to purchase just to try this or lease that uh, it's been crazy. All right, let's try this again. Open that. Lower this down. Now, if I was doing front loader work, I would have pro you know definitely set up the just the steering wheel and a joystick. But uh, tilt forward as you go into the pile and close the grapple. It'll help. All right, we're gonna try it. So I'd like to be able to pick up more than two or three logs at a time. Oh, we're pushing the wrong buttons. That doesn't help. Nope. Well, that so this was a disaster, but that's just my bad driving. I'm trying to figure out why my grapple won't close right now. Probably because I got a log jammed in there. All right, there's up. All right, let's try this again. Right into the tree where I can't see anything. How many did I get? It's sort of like three or four. All right, looks like we've got some semis here, so I should probably stop trying to make a pile and start trying to load some semis. Now, the struggle with loading semis is... I've got these uh, logs in such a disarray. I would never be able to lift this up and put it into a semi, so I'm going to dump these down here. We're going to see if we can get a clean load on the back side of this hill. Oh, we're crashing down the hill again. All right, we're going to go down the hill here. We'll see if we can try and pick these up. I was just hoping that I could get more than a couple in there, and if I pick them up from the top, I'm only getting, like, two or three logs at a time is the struggle. Whoa! We're going to use the tires to push those up. All right, let's try this. So I'm going to try and scooch these together <coughs> into a pile, and then we're going to try this uh, scoop from the top stuff that I'm hearing about. All right, so I've got I've actually got quite a few here. Let me see if I can just clamp down on these. That's not too bad. One of those is a big one at least. Now, is there a way to put these uh, arms down on the logging trailer, or do I just have to go up and over them? There was a way to, like, lower the spikes, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I can't even tell how close I am. I don't want to just dump them off here. We'll go for the cheating side view that I'd never get in real life. Oh, don't lose them. We've uh, got this... This log is hanging so low here, I can't uh, get it up in there. There we go. Oh, yes, this is glorious. Yeah, that was a... Uh, whoa, stop, stop. Why are we moving? Oh, my goodness. Farming Nation, how are the joysticks? The joysticks are glorious. The driving leaves a lot to be desired right now. This is uh, definitely painful. We've got Toby over here with uh, the Lumberjack mod, I assume, uh, cleaning up the mess a little bit. We uh, do have a few mods like that on the multiplayer server just to ease the pain. All right, let's try this again. 
but like so my problem with this is like the forks just don't have the strength to really grapple down on these trees and so like I wouldn't expect that one tree like what is it doing what is it holding on to there's nothing holding this tree it's in midair and so these are my problems with uh, farm sim physics is just uh, that that log should have sat down on the forks and rolled back to the other logs So, I have no idea what to do about that, but, uh... And then, magically, it did it. Arg, that's frustrating. I don't know if that's the multiplayer server or just physics in general. But, uh, we're definitely just all over the place. We'll see if I can at least dump these in. I don't think this thing is quite tall enough for uh, the side of this trailer either. So I'm hearing a lot of up and over. Now I don't know how I'm supposed to oops, get a good chunk of these logs though if I'm doing it from the top because I'm only ever going to get like a couple that are in front of me unless I just kind of drive up here on the pile I guess. All right, let's try this. So the the fork just doesn't seem strong enough. It doesn't close in on the tree to actually, whoops, pull it back towards me. So that's why, I, like, I'm just having a hard time. Raise it up out of the way. I would expect the hydraulics on a, a log fork to be fairly strong to be able to kind of pull these tree logs into place a bit. Let's make sure this is opened all the way. I'm gonna drag this down. So I have no ability to pull more than one log back into the fork with the uh, strength of the hydraulic. So that's kind of my struggle here with this front loader thing. Oh, and the fact that we just uh, crash it into everything here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, def centering better would help. I agree with you there. Um, I'm on the edge of a log here. The problem is my piles are uh, all over the place. All right, let's see if I can straighten this out just a little bit. Up, rotate down, straighten it out. Oh, that's not open. There's open. All right, let's try one more time. Let's see if I can get these. Uh... Oh, my goodness. Let's see if we can get this uh, little pile here this time. Well, this thing has the flow of a garden hose, so... I would, I'm surprised that I can't seem to close the forks if there's any kind of a log um, touching them. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got a, three logs at once, nice and center. Got a branch on the end of that one, though. Didn't do a good job of cleaning it up, I suppose. Rotate in here. This should pretty much top this truck off, too, I think. I'm going to rotate that down. We're going to open this up. Oh, we're too far away. Look at that. All that work, and we only got two of the four in there. My goodness. We've got SK over here trying to uh, pick them up downhill. Let's see if we can, uh, whoops, push this one over into the same pile. Maybe together with our forces combined, we can uh, 
push them into each other's forks. I'm like pushing up the hill here. Uh oh. This is a disaster. <laughs> I've got him! I've got him! Oh, he let his tree go. That was totally intentional. I'm trying to get rid of this one that's not inside. Oh, we've got all kinds of crash counters here. I suppose uh, picking somebody up by the uh, fork counts as a crash there. Oh no, let's not put a tree trunk through the semi, that'd be bad. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I expected it to be. Oh, not the drill. The drill's way more expensive than uh, some of this other stuff. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, I think the game's saving when we get uh, a few of these minor lag bursts. Most log trailers have stakes further apart in reality. Yeah, that's. I thought they like extended out when you were actually loading the trailer. Not that I think it would help if I'm being honest. Uh, I think that I'm just really bad at uh, most things related to farm sim, to be honest. There we go. We might uh, hop in the truck and uh, drive to see where the cell point is here at some point as well. Try not to run living over out here. He's hiding in the weeds. Needs to get a uh, brighter vest. Oh, there's logs. I missed them. Oh my goodness. They're hiding in the brush. I can't imagine, like, just look at being in cab here. I can't imagine trying to do this uh, in cab on uh at least on this map there's just zero visibility in this brush let's try it let's see if we can do one i would need a monitor that showed what my tip level on the bucket is because you can't even see the forks down there like there's the i think the monitor up here is supposed to show that but it's just not showing me anything so we're gonna go ahead and uh ignore that attempt and uh there's so many logs here wait i think i just need to push them all out here where i can see them and then we'll scoop them up they're in such a mess between uh my crazy chopping and uh i think all the crazy pushing around that we've been doing that if we just push them down here, we can uh, clean them up a little bit better. SK and I might have to uh, use more of that teamwork to push the logs into uh, the grapple. Oh, we're straddling a log now. Or no, I'm just pushing it with my undercarriage. That's going to be an expensive bill at some point, I'm sure. This poor Kloss uh, front loader. Not rated for uh, terrible drivers. All right, can I uh, pick this up? We might just pick this one up since we seem to have it. We needed to uh, center a little bit better on this. Probably not drive over other logs. That's uh, not helping us out a lot. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, that's... Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh yeah. We got it. Alright, well then, that was exciting. <clears throat> this hill here is uh, giving us a little bit of uh, momentum there. That's what we're gonna say. Oh my goodness, this is a complete disaster. This is why we don't do logging, folks. We will uh, we will not be doing a logging series anytime soon. This will be a uh, one-off episode for sure. 
Let's see if I can do this. So people are saying if I come from above, can I straighten this out a little bit? All right. Up. That's as far tipped as I get. Oh no, don't go on the logs. All right, let's see here. I want to kind of... I'm trying to drag these together into a pile. Unsuccessfully, I might add. All right, like so. And then if I close it and scoop... Oh! That worked disastrously. All right, let's go. Let's try this one more time. Oh, goodness. Let's see here. I've got... These are so unlined up that this is just going to not load well. But we're going to do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, down. Direct. Nope. I can't quite... I can't quite get them all. It's going to drive me nuts if I don't get them all. Oh... Uh, this is, uh, I feel like I should be able to tip down a little bit more, but it's just not happening. Well, here we go. We're going to, we're going to stop trying to do what's clearly not going to happen. There it is. Hey, look at that. We've got half a scoop here. Now, as long as I can get them to the semi without uh, losing them, because they look like they're about to fall out of both sides. Whoa, we almost hit somebody. Oh, there's a hill here. That's going to be bad news. Don't tip them out the side. Now, what's amusing to me is for all the messing around we've done and how uh, horribly we're doing at this, that we still almost have a second semi loaded before uh, Toby's gotten back. So that uh, tells you how big the uh, 16x map here is. Derek, this is uh, Huron County, Michigan, um, is the name of this map. Um, I don't think I actually put it in the description, um, but you can actually find the latest version of this map on ModHub US, which is honestly kind of a sketchy map or a sketchy website. But that's where the mod author actually uploaded uh, his um, map to here. All right, let's see here. We've got a few more stragglers over here. And then uh, I'm going to run this semi up to the cell point here. And we'll take a little bit of a look at the map. Because this is actually a really cool map. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about or playing on this map and uh, we've been really enjoying it on the multiplayer server here and so I strongly uh, recommend this map to anybody that's looking for kind of a traditional Midwest uh, American feeling map um, that's got some good size now it doesn't have like a town or anything on it it's just got some cell points scattered around um, but it's just a really solid feeling map so we've been enjoying it I'm uh, going to try and center myself a little bit better on that pile I just pushed in. We're not going to get all of these in here, but hopefully we can get a few at least. And if I do this until I get closed. I'm holding down the close button right now, and these forks are just not closing. I don't know... If that's just wonkiness with the physics, but this is my forks being closed. So we're going to take it. At some point here, it's probably going to try and close and they're all going to go flying all over the place. These logs are also not touching each other. So like the this is what I can't stand. See there, they just decided to have physics again. Like what is going on here, logs? You were keeping yourself three feet apart like I get the whole uh, you know personal space thing here but come on 
Come on now. Alright, we're gonna put these in if I can. I can't seem to get it over the uh, edge there. There we go. And then I think we're gonna call this a full trailer because uh, if I try to put any more in here, this is gonna happen. They're just gonna roll off the side. Alright. Uh oh. We have a request for right sizing of a uh, vehicle here. Let's do it. I'm more than happy to crash into you. I mean, help you get back right side. Oh yeah, he's uh, good and stuck here. Well, we're just gonna grab a wheel here. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is. I thought he was gonna go over again. So, uh, Jacob, these joysticks are amazing. Uh, because they um, there's a left and a right, so it sets up. And uh, the box comes with two that I bought. And you could set them up for left hand or right hand. And uh, I also like to occasionally play space simulators and stuff. And so having two sticks is a ton of fun for that. Um, for farm sim here, uh, logging has been a little bit of a struggle for me. But that's more me than uh, the game. Um, Farm Sim is one of the few games that does seem to handle two of the exact same joystick very well. And so I had no problems whatsoever getting this all set up uh, to operate here tonight. So um, that's pretty cool. All right. So we have uh, strapped these down and we're going to try and run this up to the store here. Now, I don't know if I've got, we've got an auto drive point set up to go there, so we might try and leverage that here for a second to uh, help us get going and let me uh, catch up a little bit on chat. I feel like I've fallen behind on chat. It's taken all of my concentration, woo, not to take out that fan. But uh, it's been, it's been uh, interesting, I'll say, uh, trying out this logging stuff. Now, I can see that uh, these logs are awfully jittery on this trailer, which is making me really nervous. Alright. Auto drive, don't fail me. Justin Risinger, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, yeah, you've been missing a little bit of uh, crazy times here. Mostly me fumbling around because I'm the worst driver normally and trying to use dual sticks has been breaking my brain, so. I feel like if you're good at logging in farm sim, you are one of the most skilled players out there probably because uh, the, the physics on these logs is infuriating. Like the three foot gap between the logs when you're trying to get them and then magically that gap goes away at random points oh it's just painful chris i actually have played a lot of uh, american truck sim not on uh, uh stream though i haven't done any videos on it and uh, i promise you that uh my driving in american truck sim is not better than uh, farm sim. It is probably much worse. And so I very quickly had to turn off traffic fines or else I would have never been able to play the game uh, because I just crash into all kinds of things. Yeah, I watched a few of FDR's videos and he is crazy. He's so good at uh, the logging stuff and he's got a much better setup. Like, part of my struggle is I'm, like, hunched forward here. You guys probably can't see it, but I'm kind of hunched forward here um, a little bit, and it's kind of painful to use. He's got them set up down here on his chair, and it looks really convenient to have them down there. Uh, Mitchell, Space Sim. Um, I have played Kerbal Space Program, but I've actually um, been looking to get into Star Citizen a little bit more. I backed that game way back when it was first out and, uh, to be backed, and I've not played it much, and so my plan was to go check that out a little bit, so I needed some joysticks. If you're gonna play a space sim, you need some joysticks, and so I thought, well, there was a really good deal on buying the, the dual set here, so we went all out and did that. ATS is a lot of fun, though. 
Um, and uh, it's funny is for I haven't played it a lot, but uh, I have continued to buy all the expansions when it came out because it's such a good game that you want to support the developers, right? So, um, yeah, it's been cool. Yeah, and that's FDR, you know, like when you have some real world experience with something, I find that uh, uh, if you set your controls and stuff up right, that can translate very well into this. Because most of my problem tonight is remembering which way the control needs to go to do what I need to do with the uh, various implements. So um, I think that if I were to do this more than uh, once or twice, it would get quite a bit easier, but... You know, you got to start somewhere, and uh, for starting somewhere, I think we're doing all right. We've uh, probably paid back our, our loan at this point. Maybe not. Or not our loan, our lease. We took out a, actually a very sizable loan on the staff farm here. Um, just up, We bought the tree harvester because I wanted to test the dual joysticks out ahead of the stream. And uh, I didn't want to pay for leasing costs for multiple days in a row, so... Uh, we're trying that out. We bought it. We'll sell it back when we're done because uh, I can't see us making a half a million in logs here uh, in tonight's stream. That's for sure. <clears throat> uh, Chris, the joysticks I have are the Thrustmaster T16000, I think they're called. Um, <laughs> actually, I think I can uh, alt-tab and show those off real quick here if I can find the right buttons. Um, oh, hey, look at this. We'll show this off, too. Uh, gameplay desktop. There we are. There's the desktop. So per, we talked earlier, Permas Modding just released the uh, um, case drill here for uh, um, the air drill that I showed off in a video a few weeks back. And so he was working with Carl Farms and came in modding to get that released or to allow that to be released. So definitely go check that out. But uh, if we just go Thrustmaster T1600, these are the uh, joysticks that I have. Um, let me see here. There's a few, oh, that's the one I want right here, I think. There's a few different versions of this uh, joystick pack. They come with uh, pedals, a throttle, and a joystick, or you can also just get uh, two of the joysticks. So I got the Space Sim pack, I think they call it. And uh, you can get that and then have uh, two joysticks. Where is it at? Flying. Do, 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 do. Their website seems to be a little bit uh, sluggish today. And so usually there's, a, there's another pack of these. If you go like on Amazon, there's a pack of these where you can buy two joysticks at once if you want to. So that's where we've uh, been. Uh, hanging out and looking for deals, and I got mine on uh, sale, so. All right, I want to stop this driver before we go too crazy. And then I think what I need to do is drive them right into this zone. We're going to unstrap them, and then I think I have to come over here to this point and push R to sell wood. There we go. $24,000 for all that work. Mm, actually, not that shabby, um, all things considered. Now, oh goodness, we don't have a auto drive point for our farm. Well, I guess we're going to drive back the old-fashioned way and see if we can manage to uh, find our way back on this big 16x map. Oh, don't run into somebody else's craps. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I could go. T. Neal's our neighbor. We could go to his farm, but uh, I'll probably just drive here a little bit. If I bring up the map here, I do like that the map supports the 16X when we bring this up. Um, and so you could see, maybe you can see, we are way down at the bottom of the map, I believe. I'm actually not seeing us on the map. Oh, no, we're on the bottom right-hand side of the map here. Um, you can see we're right over here. And so I'm going to drive up a little ways, and we'll cut through and kind of take a look at a few of the different fields here. Um, as you can see, just looking at the map, though, it's, you know, fairly flat. Um, the terrain does have a little bit of uh, deviation and whatnot, but uh, 
it's a nice normal arable farming map so if you want to focus on a, a good multiplayer map um, this is well under uh, a thousand mem uh, megs it's well under a gig is what i'm trying to say and it runs great on the multiplayer server we haven't had any problems with the maps performance um, we did install course play and auto drive and course play and auto drive both seem to be performing pretty well on the multiplayer server the only time I noticed issues is when we had about six course play drivers running and about five people logged in at the same time. Things started to slow down just a little bit. Uh, Grant, I apologize. I'm not keeping up on chat here. Um, this is a Kenworth uh, semi. I believe it was released on Expendables Modding. Um, I can double check in the store here in a moment. Um, I do like that there's a lot of little features like this creek and such running around on the map in different places it's not just a completely flat boring map though so definitely check out the map uh if you're looking for something big good midwest american farming map uh here on county michigan uh if we go to the store though i can show off this it is indeed the expendables modding um it's the w900 custom so this like a lot of the truck mods on expendables modding have an absolute ton of configuration options here so but yes it is a rather beefy uh mod it's probably uh um a couple hundred megs i think a lot of their mods tend to be you know in the 150 to 200 megabyte size so it's one of the bigger mods we have on the server for sure So I think what I'll do is instead of taking the exact same route we took to get here, I think we'll turn a little bit early, drive all over the ditch here, and uh, we'll take this down two blocks. Take a look at a few different parts of the map as we drive around here. And uh, like I mentioned before, we don't really have any towns on the map, but we do have a few of these different placeable, or not placeable, but... Uh, um, cell points slash uh, production points. That's the word I'm looking for. So the map does come with a bunch of production points all over. And I apologize. I'm uh, a little stuffed up today. So if I'm starting to sound a bit nasally, that's uh, what's going on. Yeah, two country blocks. That's it was always funny is um, I lived out in the country for so long and it, I, we always joked we just called it a block but uh, um, you, when I moved into a more urban area you know and people are referring to blocks and it's like I can see the other road this isn't a block <clears throat> good times mid-state outdoors this is a uh, Huron County Michigan it's a 16x map Let's see, did I, I, I just looked and I couldn't remember if we'd uh, passed where we're going or not. I do also like that we've got the um, windmills all over the map here too. That's a pretty cool uh, addition. You can see those in the distance here even though other things may uh, get cropped out from the distance. Now, we're going 50 miles an hour here. I wonder if uh, I could crank this up a few gears. We didn't want to uh, crash into things too hard, so I think we set a lower speed limit. But uh, we're going to take a little bit of risk, see if we can handle 70. It's uh, we, we can always flip ourselves back over with... Uh, the lumberjack mod turned on here, I think, on the server. If we happen to have a mishap. And I think this is our road, so maybe I will slow down here. We've got the nice Jake brake sounds on this semi, too. Let's go. By the time we get up there, uh, we'll probably need to cut some more trees down. Hey, Wes Henry, good to see you, man. Hopefully you've been well. We're uh, causing all kinds of chaos here, trying to do a little bit of trucking. 
Just dumped a load of logs. I think we've at least covered our lease costs for the day, which is good. We'll probably uh, still need to haul a couple loads to dig ourselves out of the hole that we've created from all the miscellaneous equipment, even after we sell it back and such. 80 hours a week, that's too much. I remember those days. I, uh, I cannot uh, handle 80 hours a week. Oh, we drove by the farm. Geared down a little bit here. We're having some difficulty uh, getting enough oomph to get going here. We're all over the place. It's a good thing there's not actual ditches here or we'd be uh, completely out of luck. Let's see if we can get into the farmyard without taking out a fence. We had uh, Livin on the staff team lay out our farm, and uh, he made he did a good job. He gave me a nice wide driveway to try and uh, avoid making too much of a mess of things when I'm pulling equipment into the yard. <clears throat> Boom. All right, so it looks like we cleaned up most of the pile out there. Looks like we've covered most of the logs we cut down. It's time to see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, so we've made about 140 on logs so far, their staff team's telling me. So we're at about break even, it sounds like, on costs versus profits. That doesn't account for uh, this machine that I'm driving right now, which is probably about 470,000, I think it cost. So I'll be curious to see what kind of a hit we take when we sell this back. Um, why is it not cutting? Oh, because A, I'm not lined up, and B, I don't think this thing is uh, turned on. How do I turn this back on? There we go. Yeah, Toby. So one thing that we did is we've got the invoicing mod turned on on the multiplayer server, which has been a lot of fun because it allows uh, players to kind of do some odd jobs for each other and, you know, charge people for things and keep track of it and have it be kind of visible for people on the server. And so that we've really liked that. That's been a lot of fun. Um, this is just not working, and I think it's because I'm not lined up very well here. There we go. All right, now we've got uh, appropriate safety outfits on for everybody. Boom. Now... What do you guys think? Should I drag them back out of these weeds a little bit before I uh, chop them up? Let's see. This is this was a disaster because I'm running into all the other equipment. I don't really have the ability to move much. Oh yeah, we should probably keep working back so that we can. Uh, claim that edge of the field at some point is my guess well this was a oh my gosh oh we're uh we're not qualified to run this machine people how am I going to get a log off of the cab that's going to count against me alright uh lumberjack tool to the rescue I guess All right, folks. Oh, oh, SK almost bit it. Here we go. All right, I think we've decided that we're going to keep moving back down the line here. Uh, well, we, hmm, we don't have that many trees over there. Part of me wants to just go clear that out, but what I really want to do is uh, 
make it so we can eventually widen this field out. That was kind of our goal of clearing some of these woods, is to reclaim this as field at some point, I think. So I'm going to try it. Oh, a cow barn. We want to put down some cows. Let's see here. Down, up, down, rotate. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Ahem. There's got to be some quote unquote magic to uh, getting these trees to kind of point in the direction you want when you uh, knock them over. But uh, I'm barely able to, uh, whoa, drive as it is. That was a disaster. All right, it looks like we're just going to leave them here. Put the log right through the windshield. I know, it's like, if this was real life, we would have died like six times already tonight at least, and none of our machinery would still be functional after we put so many logs through it. It's a good thing it's not real life. All right, let's see if we can do this. I gotta make the sound effects. I don't know why. The game makes sound effects for me, but I feel the need when I'm using a crane or a backhoe or something to just make sound effects. My five-year-old loves it, but uh, it seems a little bit awkward suddenly on the uh, live stream here. Uh, we went too far. Why won't it come back? I think we're experiencing a minor amount of lag. That's my, that's my excuse. I'm just going to keep putting them over here. At least people will be able to get them when they're on the shoulder, not in the forest. I can't see anything at this camera angle, though. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're getting faster, I think. Oh. All right, down. Rotate, rotate. Um, bring it back towards me. I want to keep getting these at the lowest spot so that uh, we're uh, not having such big stump stuff struggle with here. Imagine if you could do sound effects like Michael Winslow, exactly. I'm supposed to cut the tree down, not dig them out. True. Oops. Where's my... Livin's taking his life into his own hands here. Alright. First try. like a pro. Didn't even have to zoom in. Oh, we weren't as close to the edge of the field there as I thought we were. My bad. My bad. Alright, well, let's uh, see if I can grab this one then. Hurt. Uh, and out, 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 out. Nope, that's not out. Oh, there it is. Man, we are struggling right now, folks. Just line it up. I need to make sure that the boom is, like, far enough forward and far enough off the ground here. Nope. And then I go the wrong way and mess everything up. There we go. They're making fun of me in staff chat about my driving with the uh, wheel loader now. We're going to put this way out here in the grass, make it easier to pick up. 
Now that I have joysticks, are we going to see you do some logging with FDR? Yeah, good luck. That is, uh... Oh, we just put that one in the windshield. That's why I'm pretty sure FDR wouldn't let me anywhere near his equipment. He is, uh, much, much more skilled at this than I am. Although he's got some awesome mods, I've been really tempted to check out some of his stuff. It's just I've never gotten into any of the not farming aspects of Farming Simulator. I will say that uh, I'm not sure... I'm not sure this is uh, as fun for you guys to watch it as it is for me to uh, be trying to figure out, because uh, this has got to be pretty painful. All right, well, let's see, well, let's see. Oh, I did have it lined up on the tree. I just couldn't see it. You know, I've got a camera for this. I should be using it. SK wants me to drop a tree on him, so we're gonna try. Oh, we tipped the wrong way. I should have gone the other way. I could have knocked him over with the tree. He's got, look at this big load he's got on this wheel loader. I think he's cheating. There must be an auto load function that they didn't tell me about. The physics, uh, the farm sim physics are going to give out and all those logs are going to collapse in on each other and just uh, go flying all over the place. Too funny. All right, we're gonna go watch. We gotta watch SK, see if he can dump these in like a pro. Look at this. Oh, please. This is what happens when you get somebody who actually runs a machinery for a living uh, to do something, is they actually do it well. All right, Mr. Real Life Farmer, showing off. I got it. Uh-huh. All right, let's see if we can cut some more trees. We've definitely uh, decided that uh, we have a better log loader than uh, myself, so we'll optimize jobs here and let him uh, run the loader. And I think if I just swing this out right away, um, it gets to my side and then we don't end up putting logs through the cab as easily. Chris, you were logging back on 19 but only with a mouse and keyboard? Yeah, it's funny is I did so much with the mouse and keyboard uh, before I got my steering wheel that I keep, like when I drive with my steering wheel, I forget to drive with the steering wheel and I find myself leaning over to uh, grab the keyboard and uh, it's just, uh, inconvenient to retrain my brain to use other controls. That's most of what I'm struggling with tonight, I think, is just trying to use controls that aren't the mouse and keyboard. My brain is just not willing to accept this. There's that. Nice and close. Bring it over. Raise it up a little bit. Man, look at SK go. He's got like five logs in there. Well, before the tree branches were coming through the cab here. He's uh getting this part down good. Alright, let's go. Let's get another tree here. And if I just go out, this thing like auto levels, that's the other part is um, a lot of the mechanics on this tree cutting machine, I don't even know what you call this thing, um, seem foreign to me, but they're like so convenient. Like if I was running this full time, I could see where it'd be really useful. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Oops, that's not the uh, cut button. There we are. Boom. 
Oh, we're uh, crashing all these branches into ourselves. Oh, we've got SK with the uh, front loader here. I'm trying not to put the camera in the trees because it's really inconvenient. Uh, Chris, yeah, I used to uh, use the SciTech Heavy Equipment Bundle. I actually like that side deck. <coughs> it worked really well. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the steering wheel because it's kind of um, cheap. Um, I used it until it broke, and while it while I had it, it worked great. I really liked it um, because it had the, the ball on the steering wheel, which is uh, something all the tractors we used to own had. And so from that perspective, it felt very realistic, but uh, it did wear out after a year or so. But the side panel worked great. I just wasn't using it, and so uh, I actually gave it away to a member of the community that was looking for one just because uh, it was uh, just sitting on a shelf collecting dust. So, But uh, I, I felt like I got my money's worth out of the uh, heavy equipment bundle. I know a lot of people weren't a fan, but uh, I definitely liked it. Altoona, they call it a harvester. That's, uh, yeah makes sense i suppose logging is the bane of your existence yes yeah sebastian it's uh pretty much mine too this is not uh something that i'm gonna find myself doing very regularly i suspect we're uh don't die on stream yeah i've been uh off and on very sick over the last uh, few months and uh i woke up today uh with another head cold coming on and so it's Going downhill as the evening continues here. Looks like the game is saving for a moment here. Probably a good time to get some water. All right, let's see. My uh, left joystick is creeping in on the uh, microphone boom here. Now, we wanted to put a barn in here, so I'm going to clear some more of these trees in the middle out, I think. Adjust our camera for ease of uh, use. Oh, we're getting about 20,000 a load here, it seems like, which is doing pretty good. All right. There we go. I'm just going to start throwing these out here anywhere. If SK is so good at loading, he can just pick them up wherever they land. See if we can uh, make his life difficult. I'll start just spinning in a circle as I drop logs. Godly devil, you like your side deck and steering wheel? Nice. I got mine in FS17 and uh, used it a lot. And by the time 19 came out, the steering wheel was already dead. And so... Um, I just used the side panel for a little bit in 19. Oops, oops, we're going too low. I got overconfident. I thought I could adjust this while looking at chat, but... Oh, we're going to try and take SK out, apparently. <clears throat> Yeah, Permas, I gotta keep drinking the water. That's what I've been forgetting during the stream here, although I am over halfway through it, and usually my goal is to drink a full liter during the stream is how I know I'm uh, staying on track, so we're not too far behind here. Sebastian, you use an Xbox One controller? I, uh, I tried. I just couldn't teach myself to use an Xbox controller um, for uh, playing farm sim. My five-year-old uses an Xbox controller and finds it really easy. He does everything with the controller. He's just flying through menus and doing all kinds of stuff. I'm like, dude, you can't even read, and you're playing the game with the controller better than I can. And so he's just kind of figured out what buttons do what, and he's got it down. And so the only times I even have to help him with anything in Farm Sim is uh, when he gets a vehicle tipped over and he doesn't quite have the... Um, capacity, I guess, or the the know-how to try and figure out how to right-side a vehicle that's tipped over or something, so that can be a little bit tricky for the best of us. We're putting stuff on the tires here. What's going on? 
let's see if I maybe push this out. I was hoping to turn this tree a little bit. There we go. That should line up a little bit better. There we go. Drop this guy off. There we are. And uh, I'm going to keep cutting in. We're going to try and keep a nice square area here. I don't know what kind of a hog barn, or not a hog barn, I'm sorry, a uh, cow barn we're going to put down. What, what we're doing with this space seems to change every 30 seconds in my mind. I did see a screenshot of uh, Dennis Farms playing on uh, his conversion of uh, Midwest Horizon and they had some pretty cool looking American hog barns on there. I can't remember what modder's working on the hog barns, but I am definitely looking forward to that. And so we're gonna be uh, running a hog farm whenever those uh, mods come out. Let's see, oops, wrong way again. Oh, we're double wrong weighing, all right. I'll just get out of the way. It's easier for me to get out of the way than to move the log to where it should be. To be fair, it's a lot easier for kids to learn new things physically. Yeah, that's definitely been true. Yeah, Sebastian, I can imagine as a console player that it's, uh, you're already just more inclined to using controls like that. I own consoles, but I've never really been a console player. Um, I've pretty much only ever played like a handful of uh, RPGs and stuff on console, so. Oh, let's see here. If I move it out away from me a little bit, we can keep the logs out of the cab a bit. Perfect. Um, we're getting a little high. There we go. We're all over the place here, but we're getting them cut, and they're more or less in a pile. I'm happy with that. We'll uh, keep working over here. We're going to clean out this area, throw ourselves up on this log, or this uh, stump, I should say. Make living stare at it while I uh, cut this other tree down. He's uh, over here with the chainsaw, I think, trying to clean up our stumps for us. Oops. He's going to sneak in here underneath me and try and grab it. <laughs> Get run over in the process. See, we're getting better at this. We do need another good Iowa 4X map. Um, there was a really good one in 19, Flint Hills. I would love to see Flint Hills come back for FS22. That would be an awesome map. I would also like to see some new maps. I know there's a lot of conversions coming, but... Uh, I would love to see some new maps like this one. This was a new map, and I really liked it. Um, I love when uh, modders just kind of start fresh and do some cool things. I know DJ Modding recently released their uh, Green Valley Nebraska map, which if you ignore the Nebraska aspect, because it doesn't look much like areas of Nebraska I've been to at least, um, the map itself is just amazing. I love the map. It looks really good. He did a good job on it. And so that's, for me, it's exciting to see modders doing new things, coming out with new maps. So, Nitro Dad has been, started posting pictures of his new uh, map based in upstate New York. And uh, I can't wait for that. Um, Nitro Dad has always done amazing things with uh, um, the detail on his maps. But this map excites me as his first FS22 map because he's going to be able to do all that detail without uh, the performance hits that Farm Sim 19 had. Farm Sim 19 just didn't handle a lot of uh, trees and things like that very well. I forget I've got a camera on my right side here, so I'm leaning over out of frame to cough and uh, probably put my head right in that camera. Too funny. Try in cab, so we were in cab earlier. Um, we'll do it again. I actually find it easier to line up on the tree, but uh, we usually end up putting the log into the cab a lot easier. 
so we're gonna do this raise it up a little bit drop it right onto the top of our machine drag it over here we'll use the cab to help us straighten this log out because that's how you do it in real life right just drag a tree across the uh entirety of your machine i'm sure that the warranty is going to cover this yeah sebastian if you're looking for a map with a field of 100 acres look no further than huron county here so this is a 16x map um so you can s imagine Oh my gosh, I don't know why this is moving, but you can imagine like field 160 here. Um, it doesn't show me the size, but it's almost the size of a standard size map. And so um, that's a lot of uh, a lot of field. That that map would take you a day just to do all of the field work on, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can move out of all of these piles I'm gonna move over onto this side of things and then we'll continue to work ourselves into the rest of these trees again so I think I want to be a little bit closer like so oh we uh are crashing this boom into all kinds of stuff. There we go. And we'll toss them over here. I think I'm getting hung up on some other trees. There we go. What's changing the number on the dash? Yeah, um, I think that's some kind of indication around uh, log size and so I think that's telling me that I just cut a log that was 427 I'm not sure because it keeps getting shorter and shorter and so it might be how much tree it anticipates is left I'm not sure because the number just ticks down and then you know it's done like that says 53 now so Every time I cut, it gets a little bit shorter there, and I don't know exactly what that number is supposed to represent. And if I push this button, we've got the camera on the boom, which is equally uh, hard for me to navigate with, but we're going to give it a shot. Oops. Oops. Let's see if I do this. We're not quite close enough. I do that. Nope. I don't think it's level enough. No. 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 Trying to nudge. I, my dead zones on the joysticks are a little bit off as well. Oh, there we go. Get a little bit closer. Well, I kind of expected that to work. Oh, wow, we're way far away. So this is why uh, InCab and I don't necessarily always get along. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Yeah, I mean, we definitely made progress from the beginning of the stream, that's for sure. This was uh, going a lot worse uh, when we started off, so we're at least uh, lining up and cutting down trees now. There we go. All right, let's see if I can nab this one right in front of us a little bit more easily. The answer was no. You'd think I'd be able to tell depth perception a little bit better here, but... It's really hard to tell if I've got the tree until I just smack into it with some of these cameras. Oh, we're messing up the log pile. Making SK's life difficult again. Yeah, all of my controls got reset right before the live stream, so that's also part of the struggle. Um, partly because I downgraded from 1.4 to 1.3. And so I think a lot of stuff got wiped out when I uh, reset my game. 
but uh, we found that the server was unplayable on 1.4, so we went back to a previous version. I feel like I'm logged, or I'm close enough. There we go. Here we go. I'm going to lift up a little bit so I don't crash into that stump when I'm cutting. Um, I did not play any of Kaz64's maps in FS19. I know he had some big ones. I think, isn't he the guy that did, like, the 64X? Wow, we just put that log right through the engine compartment. That was epic. Oh, we're doing it again. There we go. Let's see. I think we're going to try and get this tree to our right. If I can line this up. Oh, we got it. Look at that. If I could bring this back, I think I could put it in the same pile, maybe even. Sort of, kind of. I think it'd be a cool series only about logging. Ooh, I think that would be rough. I don't know. I'd have to do a lot of editing to do a series on logging because uh, it would essentially just be one big long blooper of me uh, messing things up like we're doing tonight. I'd almost rather log by hand than use this machine, I think. I'd get done faster if I was just out here using a chainsaw. <clears throat> Although we are getting better. It, a little bit at a time. Not a lot. I think that the multiplayer aspect adds to the wonkiness of the physics here, so... I feel like if I was in a single player game, the logging would probably be a little bit smoother. I don't know that for sure though. Twenty five K, nice. We're making money still. The Wild West map and he brought it to FS twenty two. Nice. I'll have to check that out at some point, Epic. Um I find that really big maps like that are actually not that much fun for a series like from a let's play perspective, but for a multiplayer server like this one, um, we tend to run out of uh, room for farms on a standard size map and having lots of open space where people aren't right up on top of each other is uh, usually a good thing. Yeah, Toby, I would... Uh... I would have to do a lot of editing for language, I think, if I was doing this for more than one live stream. And the bloopers would be, uh, the bloopers would be epic. I mean, we've already rolled two vehicles in, uh, one live stream here, so. Just think about what I, what you would see if I was doing this all by myself and just trying to get through a job. Start cutting corners, knocking trees down, knocking vehicles over. <clears throat> almost a farm that map sounds familiar so I've probably seen his maps I've just haven't happened to run a series on any of them alright let's see here so this thing is like auto sensing the height of the tree maybe because as soon as I put it up here it's saying 640 which seems Oddly specific, 602. Alright. Here we go. And... I really gotta, I gotta figure out what these numbers are when I'm in cab. It drives me nuts to see them change but not know what they are. 
hopefully when somebody watches this uh, live stream later, they'll be able to educate me because uh, I hate when there's things that I don't know like this. I guess I could watch uh, some of my FDR streams. He probably explains it all at some point. All right, let's see. I want to get this corner cleaned out at least. We've got uh, a little bit left in the live stream here. I want to get this all wrapped up. The goal for tonight was to be able to clear enough area to put some placeables down, so we'll see. We'll see if we've made enough progress here. Sebastian, you think Giants should make a mining simulator too, but with a lot of automation for all the machines? That'd be interesting. I know that there's a lot of mining mods now, um, which is cool. I can't even see this tree. Oh, there we go. That's See, this is handy. I like the cameras uh, on this, at least. It, I feel like anytime I have some struggles, I can find a camera angle that works for me. Man, these trees are huge. Oh, this one's pulling me all over the place. They're all multi-fruit. You'd make a good let's play on almost a farm and both maps are for FS22. Yeah, I'll have to check them out. It's been a uh, it's been a bit since I looked at those, so always open to looking at new maps. All right. I feel like moving the machine is the worst way to try and get things into position. Oh, we're like pushed up. Oh, we're having the lag spike for saving. Every 10 minutes, the game saves, and because it's such a big map, it takes like five seconds, and uh, you definitely notice it. There we go. I guess I could have backed up to that other pile as opposed to half putting it on the pile. Oh, well. Oh, well, folks. Like, what is that log doing? It's not even on anything. There we go. It's just chilling. Sebastian's gonna go look at what changes what that changing number is. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh man, this bush is right in my way. I guess I could go into this view. Yes. Twisty turn. What am I stuck on? Uh, I think I'm stuck on that bush. There we go. Got it. There we go. This is completely not lined up with our other pile in any way, shape, or form. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> One is length in millimeters, the other is diameter. Oh, there you go. So the um, length would be the static number because I've got it set to eight meters. And the right hand side is how thick around the tree is. That makes total sense. That would be important if I was actually logging that's a piece of information I might want to know and so if I come up here against uh, this tree that's 507 down towards the bottom I would assume it gets narrower up closer yeah so it's only 458 down there and so that would be why it the number gets smaller as I cut the tree because we're getting to the narrower part of the tree got it see we've sorted things out learning a little bit about logging equipment here definitely not learning the right way to do things though timber wow we almost hit the bin there
we're going to chop all of these out. You should play on Chainsaw Valley. There's a map I don't think I have heard about. Oh, we're just pushing them right into the cab. Look at this. We've got logs stuck inside. I guess I can drag them back to this pile now. Oh, what a mess. We're just putting logs everywhere. This is one of those situations where uh, I'm not the one picking them up, so it's the level of care on uh, where I drop them has clearly declined as we've kept going. Look at this mess. It's just terrible. There's logs everywhere. I have to say I've been impressed with uh, SK's ability to uh, manage this uh, wheel loader. It's definitely outperforming me tonight. Alright, let's see. I know I haven't gotten onto it yet because it ha the number hasn't adjusted to uh, something bigger. There it is. So that's my one of my indications that I'm actually on the tree. Although I think I'm too low because it's like tipped way down. Oops. There we go. Let's see if I can lift this up. Uh, oh, that tree is too heavy to lift up. We're just pulling this thing over. I wanted to try and pull this back onto this other pile, but uh, we're just getting jerked all over the place here. There. That'll get it on the pile. At least one, at least on the decal for the screen, yeah. That makes sense to me, Permas. Man, we're making good progress here. What time? Oh, we're at 11 o'clock. All right, folks, we're going to do one more tree here on this side and uh, see if we can wrap this segment up. Um, how do I oh, pull the tree away before it crashes into me? Oh, we've completely failed. That was an utter failure. I was trying to get it to tip the other way. I'm going to drag it back here and we'll just put it on this pile. If I can uh, figure out how to push it back. All right, I need my camera to go the other way. I'm losing track of where we're at. I don't want it to hit the machine. I'm trying to put it in this pile, but we're failing miserably at lining this up. Looks like at least when it rolls off the pile there, it's uh, going into spot. There we go. All right, so let's uh, hop out of this and take stock of what we've managed to do today. Because this has been a uh, adventure of a stream for sure. I'm gonna hop this out. So this was all trees when we started here. So we have definitely cleared out quite a few trees. We've got living out here grinding some stumps. Let's see how he does here. I love that they've got the appropriate safety gear on. We've got uh, helmets and safety vests and all kinds of stuff. Grinding down the stump. Godly, you were watching the first Rotney 21D being delivered. The driver would definitely put you to shame. Oh, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> they, I'm pretty sure that they would uh, just load it back up on the truck if uh, they saw me trying to drive one. Whoa. Yeah, we've got plenty of logs here. We'll be cleaning up logs for a while here, but uh, we've got a few halfway decent piles here. They're a little crooked. Hopefully we can straighten these out. But uh, we made plenty of money to cover our leasing costs at least tonight. So I think overall I'm going to uh, give us a B plus on our performance tonight. We only tipped over two vehicles 
and we made enough money to cover the costs of our little adventure here. So that's uh, really all we can hope for, uh, especially when we're playing multiplayer um, and uh, trying not to cheat money or do anything that uh, the rest of the players on the server can't do. So um, that has been a little bit of fun on the uh, Huron County, Michigan map here. Um, this is one of the three multiplayer servers that we're running for uh, um, for the uh, channel members. And so if you have uh, looking to play multiplayer with some people, we're running uh, this map. We're also running a Westby, Wisconsin map. And uh, we have a third map. It's the uh, Canadian map by Camille Mapping. Um, what was it called? Shellbrook? And so that's uh, the three servers we're running right now. We will be upgrading and putting things like precision farming and such on there as uh, uh, well as the 1.4 patch gets fixed up here. So um, having a lot of fun. If you're looking to join in, uh, become a channel member. The join button is right below the video here. And uh, even if you're not, uh, join the Discord server. We've got uh, closing in on 3,000 people on the Discord server. Lots of fun there and uh, lots of great people helping each other out. So um, it's been a lot of fun trying something new tonight. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream. If you have, drop a like. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for today. And we'll catch you guys next time. Kederk, out.